Hi, it's Dr. Games and I wanted to step you through the process that I used to get my PlayStation 4 onto the PlayStation 4 network. As I've seen lots and lots of comments online about things that have people have had to do or they've tried to do to get their PlayStation 4s on the PlayStation network, um, it will get to it will get to the internet, it logs in your local LAN, it gets the internet. Uh, and you have a NAT2, which is very good, but it won't let you on the PlayStation Network. And I just wanted to show you a variety of things that you can do. So this is my Fios router. Well, this is when you first log in to your uh, Fios Verizon router. It looks like this. And you're just going to click on Firewall. It'll go here, say yes, that's okay. And then the first thing I want you to show you is the DMZ host but you have to have the PlayStation set up so it has a fixed IP address. In my particular case, like a lot of them, I just have the base 182.168.1 and point one is actually the, the router itself. I do not have 128 other items in the house, so this is safe. It's a safe uh, I address. Nothing else is gonna use that. And I've enabled that to DMZ. now. You would think that since it's theoretically outside of most of the protections, etc., uh, that that would work. But the reality is that there's other things you have to do. Uh, that's that's not enough. So the next thing you have to do is uh, go to oops, sorry, port forwarding. And notice that what I had to do is I once I had that established and set up fixed IP address. Then I had to go back in and add, I had to add these exceptions. So you'll see that um, for TCP, the reason that I, I just have uh, 3487 through 3480 is because the other two that it, it's set up for 80 and 443 are already set up on a rule to forward those. Um, so these are these are the only ones on the list that they give you from Sony that are not already set up to forward. And the UDP, there's only two ports. So the way you do that is you would uh, click specify an IP. Obviously, in my typical case, I would put in 192.168.1.29, uh, and then I you would click on custom ports and then you can either pick TCP, UDP, or both. And then you add that and that's that. Now, there's only particular ways you can do it. You can either do a range or you can you know, specify specific ports. If you do it by specific ports, you're gonna have to add each particular one because these new rules cannot overlap either with existing rules or with the new ones you create. So in other words, you can't have two things coming out of the same range and are both TCP or are both UDP. So anyway, that's how you do that. Continue this with another video that shows you something you have to do in the Sony network. Okay, so let's say you have your whole system set up. You've got it a fixed IP that reboots every time to the same address. You put it in the DMZ and you open up the UDP and TCP port forwarding. There's one more thing you gotta do yet. You're gonna have to come here to Sony Entertainment Network sign-in. And we'll go ahead and cut this part out. Okay, so it's signing in right now. And now what you're gonna do once you're here is you're gonna go to account and you're gonna to go to security. Okay, so you go to security and then you go to two-step verification. You're actually not gonna do two-step verification, but you go, um, it takes you to another page, which should not be obvious at all. And now, once you're there, you go to your privacy settings. So, it's, looks like it's still thinking. 
Okay, so you click on privacy settings and then notice that it comes up with these list of things. So you have to go to each one of them and it, it actually doesn't matter what you have in each one of these as long as you change one in each category and save it. So in this particular case, I'm going to go here to uh, who can see my friends and I'm just going to put friends only save. Um, and then once you do that, but I'm actually going to change that back to no one. But once you do that and you sign out, ta-da! Once you do that and sign out, now your PlayStation will work in the PlayStation Network. And that's it. Mm -hmm.